One of the main questions confronting small island nations over the past 20 years is what the impact of sea level rise will be uh, on their nations and there's a kind of commonly held belief that as sea level goes up these, these low-lying islands will simply be drowned and their populations will become uh, environmental refugees. Uh, over the past 20 years we've been doing a lot of field work to kind of explore precisely how these islands are constructed and how they will change. Uh, and we've been developing evidence to suggest that islands don't simply drown, but that they will start to move on their reef platforms and indeed potentially build an elevation and therefore uh, build above uh, potential sea level rise. One of the frustrations is that we've never really been able to isolate sea level as a specific variable and what its effect on the island will be, uh, or be able to deal with uh, a whole island and look at sea level of half a metre or a metre and what the effects would be. So the beauty of, of this experiment is that we can construct a scale model of a, an island that we've done a lot of work on uh, in the Pacific and subject it gradually to sea level change and monitor how it physically will adjust to changing sea level. Well, these are coral gravel reef islands and we worked, uh, Plymouth Versus worked on gravel barriers in the UK um, but they're both made out of gravel and they have the same behaviour uh, that they display when they're subjected to large waves or large uh, sea levels and that is to build up the crest height in adjustment to the rising sea and water levels. So we're trying to, we're reproducing the behaviour of gravel uh, that we've observed in the UK on our beaches and we're trying to see that same behaviour uh, on coral reef islands that are also made out of gravel. In this particular experiment we've got two metre waves or four centimetres in the basin um, and we're running John Salt spectrum so it's kind of based on two centimetre waves but kind of has a spectrum of waves and we're running that against the island and in this experiment we've had three runs, uh, one at high tide, one at uh, sea level scenario one which is just half a metre sea level rise and then another, this is the last run here with a, another half a centimetre another half a metre of sea level rise and we're just looking at how the island responds under those different uh, water levels to the same wave conditions. What's really nice about these experiments is that they'll be able to sort of, uh, we'll take a step change and be able to quantify precisely how these islands will change and we would expect that within 18 months to two years uh, we would be in a position to really lay out what the future would be for many of these islands.